And now we went and get to a story KPRC2 investigates has been following for years now. The Houston airport system is on pace to tie its biggest year yet. 60 million travelers are expected to go through the airports by the end of the year. In fact, eight of the 10 busiest days in the history of the airport have taken place in 2023. But what does it mean for its future? KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz is live at Bush Intercontinental Airport to explain. Mario. Daniela, those numbers translate to new projects here in the airport's system, not only up at Bush, but also down on Hobby. We're talking about billions of dollars spent for future projects, and the groundbreaking is being scheduled for the first quarter of next year. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. This was Houston Airport's system director Mario Diaz today regarding the new international terminal at Bush Intercontinental Airport. The project, nearly 10 years in the making, has a budget that has soared to $1.43 billion, significantly more than the original concept, as well as Mayor Sylvester Turner's revamp five years ago. Instead of it being $1.7 billion in calls, it is now $1.2 billion. But as Diaz finds himself telling business executives at his annual State of the Airports address the following. We're making significant progress on the largest capital improvement project in the history of Houston airports. The fact is he nor the city are done spending billions with blueprints drawn up for nearly $3 billion more in construction. Terminal A will be completely redeveloped, and so will Terminal B. In January, United Airlines will break ground on a $2.6 billion replacement of Terminal B. That's at Bush Intercontinental. While on the city's south side, Hobby will be undergoing a $470 million expansion tied to Southwest Airlines, focused on additional growth. Seven additional gates an upgraded baggage handling system, more baggage carousels, and a canopy over our departures curve will deliver a world-class passenger experience. And you're looking at a live shot once again here at Bush Intercontinental Airport. We're going to be watching these projects closely to make sure that they stick to those numbers. As again, we've seen some inflation here with the budgets uh, over the past decade with regard to the new international terminal that's being built here at Bush. One other note that the airport director, Mario Diaz, no relation, brought out today is the fact that the city now has one of the largest art collections in the world at any airport system, uh, more than 350 pieces with a value of $28 million paid for by travelers. Live at Bush Intercontinental Airport, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.